Hey everyone. So I thought I'd do a base tour. I know it was maybe a week or so ago that I had done one. And uh, so what had happened is I'd accidentally deleted the profile about a little less than a week ago while I was trying to create some other profiles and testing stuff out. And it was late and I was tired and I wasn't thinking and I deleted the wrong profile. And even though I know how to recover it, it was late. I was very tired and just wasn't thinking straight. So here it is. The sun's rising. It might take a little while for you to see enough to really get to enjoy what it is. So yeah, it does look a lot like just basically a rectangle. It's set up here on this outcropping. This is up on the north lake, the northwest lake here. So Twin Peaks is right over here. And then this is the North Lake. I can't remember what it was called in the map for the subsistence uh, website. So anyway, kind of started out. We have this kind of a big uh, dock that goes down into the lake. And that's just something you can use to run down and fill up your water bottle. Uh, you can go down there and fish off, you know, the very end. Because you have to be in the water to catch the fish. Kind of in the water a bit to catch the fish. I'm not putting railings up around here because frequently when I come out for a day to adventure I might like come out here and then jump off the dock and swim over there or come over here jump off the stairs here and swim over that way or whatever you know so I don't want to have railing around here to prevent me from being able to do that I mean it might be a cool idea to have railings on the stairs portion and then I'll leave these unrailed maybe I will also, sometimes I see bags over here. This rock will give me, um, I think there is right there. You can barely see it. Maybe, maybe that is. I think there's a, a node right over there, a mining node. Yeah, and sometimes you get them here and you can also get in and out of the water down there. So this is kind of nice. Then we have over here, we have the back deck. Um put some railing around this mostly because so once I built this and then I built the deck that goes down there or I don't know you want to call that a dock not a deck I don't know maybe 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 not tell me if you think it's a dock or maybe not so anyway uh, when I first built it I just tested out by running off this and yeah no good not a good idea there's there's rocks right down here so you gotta get a good running leap otherwise you land on those and then if you can make it to the dock there it hurts you take damage so I just put this railing around here just as a way to remind myself no 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 running off off the freaking deck here onto the dock there it's just no good over here I have uh, my food my food planters looks looks okay they're growing these are doing okay, are getting near, near done. Probably need to get some water. Usually when it rains, these do get the water from the rain. So that's, um, they do collect water from the storms during the day when they happen or at night, which is nice. It's a nice feature. And then uh, have the ability to go out there if I want. I might put steps here down to there. But the problem is I might need to do two stairs to get two sets of steps down to get to that rock down there so otherwise you can just run off it and you're just fine so here's stairs that go up the side of the building I put some railings here because again I don't want to tempt myself to try jumping off here because that would be bad I would be very badly injured if not killed and I, I created a railing thinking I could put it maybe here and I can't I can't put a railing on the end of stairs I have to put up a foundation because I, I just wanted to put something there to prevent myself. It's not like I know how to, you know, stop moving forward and then turn and do this. So, so yeah, I might put a foundation there. I might put a foundation and do kind of a little deck, you know, extended deck beyond this roof. And then put some stairs to get down there so you can get down there or up here from over there. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I like that idea at all. So here are my solar panels. I have approximately five solar panels and each one of these is all completely upgraded. 
in their plan today is we're going to go out and we're going to do some searching for things and with these panels here we're just going to let the panels uh, keep upgrading the power so I got the power down to like zero and after I got down to zero then I started this video and you and I are going to do some adventuring out in the game because I need to find some some supplies and when we come back at night we want to see how far up how much power has been generated by these solar panels and as I said each one of these is completely totally upgraded to the you know two levels of upgrading to improve the amount of power they're able to generate all right so we'll take a look inside some of you might say why don't you put your plants up there well because sometimes at night I come out here and I don't want to have to run up there in the dark I'd rather come over here I might need to add an additional floodlight or something I might have to turn this floodlight in some way so it so I get light not only down there but a little bit over here this is it gets a little dark at night for that all right so yep we got a floodlight here another floodlight there inside it's nice and big and and roomy I don't feel very confined even though you know this is like right above our head uh, uh, uh. yeah I've seen some people do the half wall like they'll do the full wall then they'll do a half wall and then they'll do the ceiling so the ceiling is up like 10 feet I think that's you know that's like a cool idea that's a great idea I just don't want to do that all right so there's a glass that's a very 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 nice view um, I still consider this the back side of of the house of the base and we have uh, a light there uh, another light there a light there and a light there and when they're all on this place is very well illuminated and then a light in here in case I need to go in here for some reason but I usually don't so anyway in here is extra uh, underneath the stairs is where I put uh, you know the extra storage that I built out so with these I can have up to 300 and with this up to 2500 I want to do one more I want to do one more and get up to um, you know 3000 because I think with the solar panels I have upstairs you know there are going to be days when I'm not going to have to actually like do anything let's see oh that's on okay well let's turn that off all right that's probably uh one of the reasons why the power wasn't coming back so fast is that was on it was on at two times the power at two times the cost <laughs> yeah yeah that's not so good all right so anyway um i would like to put some furniture in here but the furniture is going to fill up this space so maybe i can get you know a sofa here a rug here and that might be it but I'm not gonna I can't like actually use them can't rest on them to like regenerate any you know stamina or anything as far as I could tell you can't even use them so here's my first storage crate it's mostly the metals all the metal objects I have in the game and I do have these in here so let's see and if I understand this correctly we should be able to just store those in there so can use this as storage for all the diving station kind of stuff and then this is just storage for the ores and metal parts gun ammo and stuff like that crystals you get this in the underwater cave I have a video about that and here's the workstation take a look at this you can do a lot of different things um, you can upgrade weapons you can't upgrade the station as far as I can tell you can't but you can put a weapon in there and you can upgrade to you know more firepower to increase the amount of ammo you can put in and how fast you can reload it um, you know I just for me if I were to use this like once I get to the point where I have everything done everything else upgraded this might be like the last thing I decide to do is come in here and then do this do do like fire firepower on all of my weapons because all of them could definitely definitely use to have a little more damage but unfortunately can't you know can't do that this is a pick you know that's just an axe and you know I don't have the 44 caliber wet uh, revolver I may or may do it I do have the weapon parts I can do it so 
there's that. Uh, over here is the refinery. Let's see, I'll pull that out. So I got it upgraded to additional slot. Of course, the more slots you have, the more power it's going to drain. I want to do the additional slot. I have this and this in one of my crates, but I have only four and I need 11 at least. And we need more power, but the power is coming back. You can see it's coming back. We're going to go out and look for electrical parts after I'm done with the base tour because I want to come back after we've done the base tour and show you how the power uh, solar panels are doing in terms of power regeneration. So here's just a recycler. There's the power generator. I'm going to just throw that in there. I don't think I ever do overdrive or anything. It's just I would just turn it on at regular, you know, one for one. One power for one fuel. Um, and then, yeah, I showed you that over there. This is just kind of animal products mostly. Extra tools that we need to use in the game. Extra water that I found. You can't reuse these. It's a one-time only. And, of course, the base command unit. And, you know, once I get everything I want upgraded, I'm probably going to come in here and just make a ton of these. You know, I've, I have gone out in the game, and most of the time when I find one of those 16 slot boxes, military style boxes, I usually only find one. But sometimes when I go out in the game, I'll find two of them in one day. So I might make, you know, half a dozen of these once, once everything else is taken care of. So yeah, I have the lights, floodlights, I might put that in the front of the building, but I don't know. Uh floodlight mounted yep that's in the back floodlight switch might make sense if I add floodlights to the front and it doesn't make a lot of sense unless I'm able to like turn on the switch in the building then in the, if I were like to need to head out and do something really quick at night then I could turn on the floodlights in front so I can find my way back easier because it gets really dark I got one wood burner don't need two got a refinery that's fine I'll eventually make a bed I got you know I got two extra mass two mass storage I got four of those I want to do a fifth I got two plant pads should be fine don't need more of those don't need more eventually I'm gonna do a fridge and an oven and figure out how these work and then we have uh, the recycler that's for mass storage I don't need an extender mining drill I have the mining drill so for a little bit I thought that maybe it was a waste but it's kind of it's kind of a nice extra you know once you have once you have a lot of solar panels so you're creating a lot of power during the day the mining drill kind of makes sense to leave it on for the amount of power it sucks up uh, animal housing I don't think I'm really interested in doing animal husbandry I hear it's just way too expensive to keep them alive mass fabricator turn power into mana there's a solar panel wind turbine I think solar panel just makes more sense than wasting time on wind turbine a radiator might be useful for winter air conditioner I can't imagine worrying about that during during when it's really hot because I'm not gonna spend a lot of time in here at least not during the day when it's gonna be the hottest storage unit I don't think I need to make that I made this this gives you the ability to create uh, an elevator on your build on your your uh, site where you can have a little elevator that goes up and down like you might find it like a work site not like you would find it like in a shopping center um, diving station got that don't plan a distiller maybe eventually we'll do these so all right so let's go get you fueled up there's nothing in there I got some water there. I'll probably, you know, I got these here. Let's just, let's just use these up. Let's get, let's get, let's get everyone. Let's get topped off here. All right, we're looking good. Uh, create a couple of those. Bring those with us. Yep, we're just gonna bring this, and we're gonna go out. Everything's turned off except for the fire. Looks good. All right, and then, sure, we don't get. Sometimes there's a wolf right outside. But there's a front of it. Yeah, we might add more. Might add an extra deck like 
right here. You know, a deck coming coming out over here and have some steps that come down or something. So we can get down off of there. But I don't know if that really makes a heck of a lot of sense. All right, we got uh, got to do a little bit. Just gonna do a little bit of of logging here real quick. Get some wood. We're gonna head out like toward the middle of the game. So if you've watched my 12, 12 days a year challenge where I play the game where I play this game subsistence so there are only 12 days in a calendar year in the game which means every month is one day in the game so like right now it's May then tomorrow would be June and the next day July and then so on and so forth you understand and it was very challenging, you know, because you can't do. Okay, I'm just going to, I could figure out where the bear was, so we're just going to, I know the wolf is over on our left there. Just gonna, just gonna go around. Just gonna go around. I, d I couldn't figure out where the bear was, so we're going to go this way. Go this way to get this way. I've, I've found quite a few lock boxes over here. I mean, the 16 slot lock boxes. There are other places I found them, but I think I found more of them here than anywhere else. So anyway, I was uh, talking about the 12 days. A year challenge. Um, there's not a lot of building or a ton of crafting. It's all about what do you have to have done come winter in order to not like freeze to death because it gets cold. And even with the fact that a basic campfire sitting on top of a foundation with no walls would be more than enough, it would be suffice to keep you warm at least on the foundation. Alright, I thought I saw a bag over here, but I think it's just this fawn. Uh, you know, you play the game, you know what I'm talking about. You think you see a bag, or maybe the big 16 slot, and then all of a sudden it's like, nope, nope, it's just, it's a plant. It's the shadow of a plant. Alright. Let's grab this. Cool nails. Got more of these electrical components. I think we needed eight of them because I'm going to upgrade the refinery to give us one more, one more slot, you know, to so we can have like three ore being refined at the same time, at of course three times the cost. <laughs> what a deal! That's why. Uh, Getting those solar panels all up there and then getting the max upgrade will help reduce the amount of power that is lost while both all three of those are on. I mean, there's still going to be a loss of power. Ooh, that's kind of nice. No. Okay, let's just uh, we're out here looking for supplies. So, what I think of kind of when I'm going out and doing a general farm, when I'm not specifically hunting for something. Uh, I try to aim for... Did it disappear? Yeah, it did. It, there was... There was uh, there was something up there and it just disappeared. Yep, there was uh, copper. And... It just... Just disappeared. While we were... Mining the other node. Oh well. So, when I come out here, I'm just doing general farming... I try to get like 50 logs at least, 50 logs just for the fire. I don't need 50 logs for the fire, I just like to have 50. And then I try to have 20 to 25 of uh, this plant fiber. But, um, you know, now I don't really use a lot of it. So I don't really need to grab plant fiber, I'll run right by it. But I'll look for fruits and vegetables in the game and of course the bags and right now the bags are big but I gotta make sure I get some uh, 
get some logs while we're out here. So we're going to get some log. We're going to do some logging. We'll look for some bags. Um, we might just grab these while we're here. And then I brought all that, all that water. I bought, I bought some fruits and vegetables, some protein, and then extra water. So that way we don't have to stop or, you know, go back to cook that stuff. So I'm kind of using up the resources I intended for like winter, because right now that's what I'm doing is I'm, I'm gathering enough, growing enough of my own food. So when winter comes, I don't have to worry about the fruits and vegetables. The, I expect the protein part, I'm going to have to go hunt every day unless I get a refrigerator done. And even then, how much can you put in a refrigerator? I mean, I, I think I've seen a video where somebody opened up the refrigerator and it looked like maybe it had 20 slots, but I could be wrong about that. Yeah, coming up here and then get a look over the land and see if you can spot. See if you can see anything that sticks out as, as a bag or as a 16 slot lockbox. Sometimes, sometimes I find that if I get to an area, if I give myself a couple of turns, turnarounds, like I look over the same area twice, maybe it'll just suddenly appear a, you know, a, a crate or a bag. And, you know, sometimes it's like this. Nothing. And there might be something over by the bear. Well, let's go take a look. I don't really want to have to kill the bear if, if it comes to that. I'd much rather just ignore him. Because I'm not out here to get the bear. But this is a, this is one of my favorite spots to kind of look for, for bags and crates. Supply bags, supply crates. Just because it's so open. It's so easy to see everything so if something appears it's easy to spot I think that's a wolf over there yeah that's a wolf it's moving so we're just gonna kinda head around the periphery see what we can get we can also kinda run up you know run up a little bit into the hill hills around this area and see what happens to be there might be something right down there or it might just be plant fiber no nope, it's a bag we'll grab these berries anytime I see a bag and you may already know this anytime you see a bag go for the bag don't let it sit there don't don't put it off for something else you know if you got a mine if you if you got an ore that's right there that you're gonna mine and also you see the bag you, you cut off from doing the mining and go get the bag if you can because the bags will disappear. They're, they're only in the game for a limited period before they suddenly disappear and maybe another one appears. So day is kind of... we Day is kind of getting a little long in the tooth. We only got... We're up to seven of those. I really was hoping to have... 10 to 12 when we get back to the base I don't need the bunny rabbit but if I see scrap metal I'm gonna grab it because that's always a good idea always need scrap metal like right now I'm I have more nails than I know what to do with so I'll take some of the extra nails and when I need to do something that requires a ton of mass, I'll use the nails to create mass, convert it to mass. And I'm sure there are other things that are more efficient to like most most times that it converted to ass to, to, to mass um, go on a one to two ratio. So you get one mass for every power that's needed to come to the conversion for you but there are some items I think that are closer to one to one maybe maybe, maybe I'm wrong I I might be remembering this 
incorrectly. But there are some items that don't give you nearly as good a bang for your buck as what you're, you know, converting. Like I could convert, if I converted a hundred of these, it wouldn't give me a hundred mass. It might give me 25, you know. This might give me, a hundred of these might give me 25, but a hundred of these might give me like 50. Or maybe it gives me a hundred. I'm, I'm not sure. All right, so the day is starting to take a header. I see one more box over there. I want to grab it. I was really hoping that we could find a 16 slot lock box. I mean, we might still find one. Ah, he's going to run me out. There was another lockbox over here, wasn't there? I thought I saw another box, so another crate, another supply crate over here. Shoot, I don't know what happened to it. Give me a sec, I'm going to see if I can come in behind this guy. Oh, it's really close. It's really close to him. I'd have to go running in there. And hit him with everything I got and kill him. Doesn't have a lot of health. Okay, this is good. Alright, there we go. Alright. We're starting to lose sunlight. We got a rock and roll. Prefer not to run through the dark. I want to get back, or at least close to our base. Before it's too dark. Okay. I thought I saw I'm going to take one more look over here I thought I saw a box over here nope now I know as we run back we might encounter them on the way back so there's always that chance I was really hoping to upgrade our uh, the refinery and take open up that last slot refinery slot but I think I needed eight, eight of the electrical components to do it, and it doesn't look like I'm going to get it. Also looks like we're going to be running in the dark, holy shit, you guys. <laughs> oh, we stayed out a little too long. Come on, book it, book it, book it. Oh, this is funny. My hands are bloody. Oh. Uh, Oh my lord. Oh god, okay, so that's a rabbit. It's okay. It's okay. We're looking for anything that has a bigger... Yeah. We're looking for anything that has a big bar. Lots of hit points. We stay away from them. And we want to avoid accidentally walking, running off of a ledge. Oh my god, I can't believe this. This is kind of, yeah, I kind of goofed this one. We should have turned and just left the bear. Oh god. I gotta let everything regen. Can't do a lot of running. <laughs> oh. Getting closer yet so far away. Thank God we did the base tour first thing. Oh God, we're there. We made it. Okay, who? Hold on a sec here. Hold on a sec. Okay, we almost made it. We would have made it to a thousand power, but we had that, that freaking uh, the drill, the mining. 
device that was uh, that does the mining for us on. So during the day, with full light on, we got about a thousand power. I mean, you get 500. You get 500 all the time, no matter what. I don't know how long it actually takes it to go from zero to 500, but the solar panels upstairs helped us get to a thousand. So. So that's about that. We didn't get everything we wanted. Uh, I'm gonna put you in here. You're there. I know I can't do the upgrade. Oh, I needed 11. Yeah, I said 12. Yeah, I needed 11. I already have these. It's like, shoot, we got enough power, we got enough mass. I guess that'll be just maybe another video. Get everything in there. Alright, let's get you going, you cooking. You converting, you rendering. Okay, so that's it. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, this game is really fun. I think it comes to a point, though, where it's like... It's not really... I mean, after you've kind of started building out your base... There's really not much more besides the daily grind of going out and finding the supply bags. And maybe a 16 slot, you know, locked box. But, you know, it's alright. Look, like, yeah, look how dark that is. It's so dark. Put a light bulb up there, but it's not really worth it because I don't spend any time up there. Yep, so that's it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed kind of the tour of the rebuild of my home after accidentally deleting the stupid profile like like an idiot. Oh man, that was so that was such a bummer thing. And I know I could have I could have recovered it when I when I screwed up. I know I could have recovered it and would have been okay. Oh, yeah, let's go. Let's do this. Let's see, just show you this. So. Sometimes, like, at night I'll come out here and I'll get my water and everything, get, get my canteen filled up, and so I come down here, and those floodlights are really helpful, and sometimes I'll also handle my, uh, my flower beds, or flower beds, my plant beds over here. You see it's kind of, they're a little bit low on water low on water there I got a lot of fertilizer I can put in there that'll help so yeah that's that's you know that's why we have those those lights there is it can it can make you know it makes seeing how to get down there easier so we don't have to glue, use the glow stick but I think I might need to put an extra light over here so we can see that stuff or I have to turn this you know turn it so it's kind of at a quarter you know at an angle here so I can still see down there but see over there too so let's turn those off they don't need to be on so that's it you guys I hope you enjoyed uh, the tour of my base and all the work that I've been doing still got more stuff to do of course and uh, yeah see you later dudes